very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Wednesday, August 21st. A proposal to charge guests staying at all-inclusive resorts at a percentage less than the full occupancy tax for the actual room when taxing other amenities and recreational activities was defeated by the Ulster County Legislature last night. Some lawmakers wanted to return the plan to committee to further define it, but that failed, and the measure was defeated by the full legislature. Lawmaker Herb Litz said not to prorate those activities is detrimental to the all-inclusives. We're going to penalize them and double and triple tax them because we think it's going to, it's going to help the housing crisis. But when they, when they take those 550 employees and put them out into the housing market to search for apartments, I think that's not going to help. And, and this is only putting everybody at a level playing field, and it is um, putting them at that field that they have been unjustly taxed since 1991. There are only two all-inclusive resorts left in Ulster County, Mohonk Mountain House and Rocking Horse Ranch. A Kingston couple pled guilty in Ulster County Court in connection with a hit-and-run incident resulting in the death of 21-year-old Starley Swanyoung of Saugerties. 43-year-old Lacey Maxwell pled guilty to leaving the scene of an incident resulting in the death and the felony of insurance fraud. Her husband, Ryan Maxwell, also 43, pled guilty to insurance fraud for trying to help her in misleading the insurance company and covering up the actual cause of damage to the car. Sentencing for both is scheduled for November. On January 10th, Swan Young and a friend had been walking on Route 9W at around 5.10 p.m. when Swan Young was struck by a 2021 Subaru driven by Lacey Maxwell. She then fled the scene and did not stop to render aid and or to report the incident, as the law requires for every incident with a vehicle-involved injury or property damage. The next day, with the help of her husband, Ryan, she staged an accident to account for the damage sustained to the vehicle and then submitted a claim to the insurance company. A 27-year-old Kingston man pled guilty in Ulster County Court to attempted robbery as a felony. Elijah Lyons pled guilty on August 15th as a second violent felony offender when sentenced in November, is scheduled to be sentenced to 12 years in state prison, followed by five years of post-release supervision, as well as restitution. On June 18th, Lyons attempted to rob the Caribbean Taste Deli in Kingston while armed with a butcher knife and was apprehended by deli employees. Just the night before, Lyons robbed the Sunoco gas station on Foxhall Avenue, where he threatened the clerk with what appeared to be a firearm. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. New York State is hiring, and among the various state agencies that are looking for qualified individuals is the Department of Transportation. Heather Pillsworth, DOT's Hudson Valley Public Information Officer says there are a number of positions available. She says they're looking to recruit folks from colleges, high schools, technical schools, and local events. See what kind of career opportunities we have and to get information on the long-term possibilities of working for DOT and New York State. You get a pension funded not only by the state, and you put a little bit into it, but also you can put your money into a retirement program that benefits you with all of the benefits of both worlds. Great opportunity. In September, the DOT will have booths at several colleges 
and different BOCES looking for future employees and to provide information about a career working for the state. This week, they're at the Dutchess County Fair recruiting potential employees. In an effort to differentiate itself from the former Orange County Industrial Development Agency board and administration that was highly criticized by the county, the current members have rebranded the agency. A new logo is one component of that rebranding, says IDA Executive Director Bill Fiervante. We're going to keep this name. We're not running from who we are with the Orange County IDA, but we, we know that this is an administration that has really cleaned everything up, and, and we're really proud of the work that we're doing. And we wanted to re- reintroduce ourselves to the community. So I think the logo is really just a part of that, along with the other efforts we're making to educate people about the work that we do and separate the truths from the myths. Several years ago, the county legislature replaced board members and administrative members faced criminal charges related to mismanagement. A 31-year-old Palisades Park, New Jersey man drowned Sunday evening in Lake Sebago, state police say. Preliminary investigation revealed that Carlos Gomez Tay was with his family at the lake and went swimming at around 6.30 p.m. As Tay swam out about 100 feet away from his family and then started calling for help, he submerged and did not resurface. His family attempted to help but were unsuccessful before calling 911. Gomez Tay was later located and his body was removed from the water. Police in the town of Wallkill are investigating the armed robbery of a man in the parking lot of UU Asian Cuisine on Route 211 East. The incident occurred about 12.30 in the morning on Sunday. The victim told police he was approached by two men who struck him and removed jewelry from his neck. According to the victim, another uninvolved suspect claimed he was missing jewelry as well and pulled a gun on the victim. That man with the gun was removed from the area by other people. While still in the parking lot, the victim observed the person who'd struck him. The victim verbally engaged the suspect, who then pulled the gun and fired five shots. No one was injured. At that point, everyone fled the scene. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com.